Hello everybody, this is uh, Jay Gibber. <clears throat> this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, for a while I had thought I lost, didn't have a key, but I found the key for it. Uh, I actually got this lock from Lock Fumbler. I'll include a link in the description to his channel. And I had a good friend of mine actually pick this for me because I had problems. Even trying to um, reverse shim it. Uh, but anyways... I think I kept getting caught in between the rattles, but see, this is a Dom S that has rattlesnake pins. Um, me, I've always, uh, well, I did a deep dive into rattlesnake pins, because when I got interested in it, you know, they were like the new thing that was kind of like an impressive pin to make. So I went on a deep dive on trying to learn how to make these pins. So, there we go, and I'm going to get these key pins out of the way because I've been wanting to see these firsthand. And that's a nice one. And I'm looking at these uh, key pins here. We got like a spool here, and it looks like a, another type of spool is torpedo on the key pins. Quite nice. But um, now this is this is the money shot that I've been interested in for a long time. Let's see if we can get this uh, shim out of there. Uh, we'll start at the back. And I should have my glasses on. And there's somebody with a radio blaring. Okay. Sounds like crap, too. Uh, looks like a standard pin. Copper spring. If we can grab that spring. If I, well, see if we can just shake it out. Get it to come out. Uh, well, you know, I'm not going to worry about that spring. Yeah, I won't go ahead and get it out. And nothing happened to it. Just a little time with me. He said, uh, Pig Smith actually was able to pick this for me. And he was so kind enough to send it back to me. Like I said, I'll incorporate a, I'll add, excuse me, I'll incorporate, but add a link to his channel in the description. Pin number three. This is supposed got some rattlesnakes. Ah, there we go. That right there is what I was curious about. Let's see if we can zoom in up on this thing. Uh, actually, let me let we'll, we'll, let's uh, we'll do that in just a second. Because I wanted to know how they wanted how they made theirs. Wait, that was the front side, the back side. Wait, 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 wait. Make sure I'm not getting everything all mixed up. That's okay. Yeah, that's the front. So this is going to be here. Here and there. Springs are pretty much the same, but you know, I won't put this here. Now, at least I got the key to make sure everything's going to fit well inside the plug. And I'm just curious to see if they put anything in the plug. Nope. Nothing. Nothing in the plug. All right, we've done the front three. Now let's get the back three. And my brain is not really firing on all cylinders. Tired and exhausted, but you know, it's just the way it is at work. Um, here we go. Pin number five. Six is only five. Five pin lock. All right. Another standard. And as long as it has that, oh, it's got two of them in here. Heck yeah. And these beauties is what I've been wanting to see, first off, for a long time, to figure out how they make them. All right, uh, there's a potty, I think it's like 314, video 128, maybe 126, something like that. He does a video on these. Now, let's see if we can zoom this in a little bit more, and hopefully it won't be all too blurry. Yeah, see, that right there. 
And it looks like what they did is with enough room there, they used like this T-pin part here. It looks like a T-pin part. And this is basically just from seeing what Potty did on what it is, they got like something they'll put as a spacer in between this cap and that. And they got like a machine that pushes down, spins around and, pre and flares that inside piece to the outside piece. So it makes a mechanical seal. That was, this is what I've been wanting people to really do and look at that. Now, I don't have my glasses on, but this has been basically my theory just off of what I saw on uh, Potty's channel with his uh, thumbnail of the video where he had six of these dumbasses that had rattlesnake pins in them. And that's what it looks like, like they took another wafer set it there with a spacer and use some type of a mechanical flaring tool to make that one piece and as you see with this one uh, put this back here you know the ones that have picked my locks and seen different variations of rattlesnakes of course this has got the thin little wafers and I'm usually on top of this the little brass end cap if I don't put a master wafer on top of this, the spring goes over that and that actually becomes one piece. And if this part is above the shear line, that's fine because I don't want the ring, I mean the spring, getting down past the shear line into the plug. So what I do is I put a master wafer on top of that. So basically, if this is just above the shear line into the Bible, it kind of acts a little bit like a drunken spool, maybe a drunken rattlesnake. Uh, let's see if I can find some of my older ones that I've made. Yeah, like this one right here. Uh, see, this one, I just the same nail bread that you saw that small one made with. Let me clear off one more now. I used uh, some brass tubing one millimeter inner diameter with three millimeter outer diameter. And what I did is I uh, basically what I did was use a wire brad nail, threaded the whole thing, screwed on one piece and soldered it. Well, actually I had screwed on, I had built the whole thing completely. And this here on the center, I use two millimeter by three millimeter wafers so you get a little bit more play side to side on these uh, wafers here and like I said I threaded this piece of uh, brass tubing essentially turning both both caps in the nuts and solder and solder cut off the excess spun it around in the dremel or rotary tool whatever you know dremel like tool and that's how I made that one. If you see, you can see where I threaded on the uh, wire bread nail. It's a stainless steel wire bread nail. There. And now, this one is pretty much about, I think this one, yeah, this one I made out of brass, I think. Yeah. Use brass rod and threaded and of course, have my wafers, and here, you really can't tell where I soldered it, but yeah, I, I soldered it, and cleaned it up. Oh, this is something different. I know what, exactly what this is. I think, oh yeah, 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 this is gonna sit like, this is what was a failed uh, piston pin. I think I didn't get this just right inside the cup but I'm using this with a wafer up here. That's something I'm gonna throw on somebody. So, yeah. That'd be like a, a another type of drunken rattler. And here's like some of the new ones that I make. Uh, it's like the serrated type, maybe kind of get like a little bit of a Christmas tree deal, I don't know. It's basically a, a hybrid. 
Um, here's some of the other ones that have wild movement where this brass ring will actually lodge inside the chamber will align itself with that piece of stainless tubing and see and it comes off right on that nail and there's some uh, a little bit of shavings from all the work I've been doing uh, on rattlesnake pins and stuff like that and, but uh yep this thing will come off of that little tubing realign itself and uh, I've made different variations of these things, but uh, here's another one. And I've got these little guys here that I tend to even make key pins out of or whatever else. I gotta make some. But this one's not moving, not well side to side. So it would pretty much behave like a serrated, and it would pretty much, I think all these kind of behave like it, but just give you a little bit of movement, like that one right there. Uh, give you some strange feedback. But I do thank both Pig Smith and Lot Fumbler. Uh, without those two guys, well, his, his video would not have been made, and I appreciate. Uh, potty 314 making a video of these things and every video i've seen they always show it from the side and they show this part right here you know like that you don't see how they make them and that's what i've always wanted to know like i said i got a theory these one of these wafers they gotta uh, put something in as a spacer and they come in with something and basically spread that apart and make a mechanical fit right there with it. But now that's pretty much about the end of the video. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Take care. Keep it legal. Keep it safe. My best to each and every one of you.